And there are so many things to tell you before you come to this world. I will tell you as it is. I will color it with pretty crayons. You are about to be thrown into the jungle of chaos and I just need you to be prepared. First you need to know that it wasn't always like this. The world was simpler in the older times. The times when the postman brought love letters and not bank statements. The times when music was about true love and not about hangover. The times when people fell in love for more than five minutes. When distances were larger, much larger without the technology of today. When a man would go to war with just a picture of his beloved and return, still loving. Of the times when you treasured the ones you loved so much more without being busy entertaining the 800 friends on Facebook and Twitter. When you had friends you could count on your fingers, but you would do anything for them to be happy. And you could count on them, and they would give up their lives for you. I'm not sure this is the case today. And this is the age of technology. And it changes everything. It clatters our lives instead of making them easier. It tears us apart when it was meant to bring us together. It clouds our true feelings. And so do the words. Everyone speaks in a sort of a code. They won't tell you what they really mean, just what they believe puts them in the better light. And they will hide behind their appearances shield their egos and their hearts. So all you can depend on is your intuition. In a world run by vanity and money, where people would betray their friends to get a hold of a Ferrari only to drive it on the road with a speed limit of 60 miles per hour. Where kids grow up watching reality TV instead of living their own lives where women spend thousands of hours of their lifetimes in front of the mirror, when there are so many wonderful experiences that should have been lived. The sad truth is, good looks can open doors, but don't ever let it define your work. Remember, your life is a choice, not a lottery. Choose to seek the beauty in each situation and each person around you. Fill your mind with gratitude until there is no space in it for worries. Fill your life with people who appreciate you till there is no space in it for haters. Love without expecting anything in return. That's really the only kind of true love. Love, mistaken for the need to possess another person, when it's their freedom that has thrown you in in the first place. Let the bird free, see if it returns, only then you will know if it was ever truly yours, and not by your side simply because you had put it in a golden cage. Choose to save the word love for someone truly special. And yes, even if the buzzing pheromones make you want to scream so that it's heard in Japan. Don't let it be just a four letter word. Choose to dream big. Choose to reject the notion of limitation. There is an infinity of realities, just like there's points in a circle. Don't let anyone tell you that what you desire is unattainable. Don't underestimate the power of your mind. Imagine the unimaginable. Discover your passion 
find your destination, but mostly enjoy each step you take to reach it, because if you do that, you will get there faster than you think. Choose to love your life, and trust me, it will love you right back. Enjoy it. Enjoy every single moment of it. Because the moment is all you really have. The rest is an illusion. Now there is a million things that I could tell you. These are just some of my ramblings. I'm still figuring it all out. I'm still on a journey. But one thing I know for sure is that you come to this seemingly gray world with a box of crayons and the world is yours to paint.